Hey guys, Jill here. This week in our video, since we're kind of coming into the holidays, I want to give you a, cup of, a couple of my favorite holiday fat loss tips that you can use this week at Thanksgiving. So I'm sure that I've talked about these kind of off and on, but I wanted to have a video where kind of everything was put together. So here are a couple of tips for handling Thanksgiving dinner, handling Christmas or Hanukkah, New Year's, wherever you have like kind of a, a place that you're going, whether it's an event, Christmas party, um, where you know that there are gonna be a lot of desserts and booze and stuff like that. So number one is make sure you get your heavy weight training workout in earlier that day. So on Thanksgiving, wake up, you know, have a normal breakfast or do your workout on an empty stomach and make sure you try and go as heavy as you can. And I would recommend doing, if you can, doing a heavy leg workout to really kind of get your metabolism going so that if you do indulge a little bit later, the impact on your metabolism won't be as bad. So some of the calories and some of the carbs will actually go towards muscle building and you'll be able to take advantage of that opportunity. Number two, if you're gonna be doing booze, okay, my first, um, you know, it's a lot to choose from, but as a rule, I usually only say two drinks max, and the two best options for alcoholic beverages are number one, red wine, okay, so at least you get a little bit of antioxidants, you get a little bit of health benefit, and number two is something like a vodka with a zero calorie um, drink like soda. So I like soda and I like seltzer. Both of those have zero calories, zero carb, and they, um, you know, that with something like vodka and just maybe lime or lemon or um, something like that. But make sure you keep your mixers and things to zero calorie. And remember, two drink max. So those are my two options for that. And this is my last thing. What I would recommend, this is how I kind of navigate the table. Well, two more things. This next one, this is how we navigate the table. First of all, choose your protein first and pile it on your plate. So whether that's turkey, chicken, you know, roast beef, like whatever it is that you're having at that, you know, dinner, get as much protein on your plate as you can. Doesn't matter if it's dark meat, doesn't matter if it has a little bit of sauce on it or something like that. Don't stress about that stuff. Then second thing is pulling your vegetables. So if you have if they have a salad or you have, you know, maybe green beans or broccoli or whatever, try and get as many vegetables and greens on your plate as possible. So I usually try and do half and half. So I know it's a lot of protein, but the reasoning behind that is because I know that if I don't have enough protein, I'm gonna be pulling and you know looking for carbs and looking for sweets later. So protein, vegetables, try and get as many greens as possible. Don't stress if there's a little bit of butter or a tiny bit of cheese or something like that on the vegetables, okay? That's totally fine. Remember, always choosing fat over starch if you can and the reason behind that is because even though fat has higher calories it tends to satisfy you more so you don't need to have the starch later but if you're doing a lot of potatoes and yeast rolls and stuff like that you know that stuff doesn't really fill us up you know we can have like five dinner rolls with butter and still feel ready for a meal so make sure you choose fat over starch and then the last thing which you guys have heard me talk about before this is my last tip if you go to an event or a party or a dinner, bring a dessert yourself. Play dessert defense. What that means is make something that you know you can eat and bring that with you. I've literally sat at parties, especially my in-laws have a big Italian family, and sat there and ate my entire dessert the entire time because there was nothing else I could have. So those are my rules. Make sure you get a great workout in that day. Next thing, navigating your beverages if you are gonna drink to drink max and have something like a vodka with a soda or a seltzer water or white, I mean, or red wine rather. Next thing is fill up on lots of protein and as many vegetables as possible. And what I would do with that is, and this is just an aside, what I would do with that is have that, and remember it takes 20 to 30 minutes to feel full. So sit on that. If you need to get seconds, get seconds of vegetables or protein and wait because the chances are you won't really need to have the carbs. You don't really need the potatoes. You don't really need the rolls. That stuff is just a distraction because if someone's, you know, if you have a little butter on your vegetables or a tiny bit of cheese, that's going to be really satisfying to you to, that you don't need and you know that you'll feel worse if you eat a whole bunch of starch and things like that. So try and do that if you can. Wait, and if you still want starch, do five bites, and that's it. 
five bites of starch. And then the last thing, of course, is dessert defense. Bring something that you know you can have. Go to the portal, check the recipes, get the Jill Fit Holiday recipe book. There's tons of good desserts in there that you can have and focus on that so you at least you have an option. Remember, drink plenty of water before the dinner as well as after the dinner. I always try and do at least one liter of plain water when I get home from a big meal to you know hopefully start shedding water overnight and so that I don't wake up super puffy the next day. So hopefully that helps you guys. Those are my favorite tips. Good luck this week and we'll see you next time.